Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. All storage tanks shall be provided with nozzles. Depending on the fluid to be stored, the facilities and the configuration of the plant regarding the distribution of pipelines, the number and sizes of nozzles may vary. The following nozzles can be found in storage tanks. Process inlet nozzles, process outlets, overflow, vents, auxiliary nozzles as in cooling or heating, and level nozzles. Since storage tanks are subjected only to atmospheric pressure, or very low pressure, plus the static head of liquid to be stored, connections are not calculated, they are selected. The minimum nozzle sizes are shown in different tables of the code, mainly to simplify the design and to standardize the tank, simplifying materials procurement and storage significantly. There are different nozzle configurations for storage tanks, accounting for different service requirements and design conditions. From all the alternatives allowed by the code, built-up nozzles are the configuration most used. The main components of a nozzle are the flange, the neck and the reinforcement. There are different types of flanges, necks and reinforcements. Each element will be designed depending on the requirements and service of the equipment. There are many different flange standards to be found worldwide. To allow easy functionality and interchangeability, flanges are designed to have standardized dimensions. Not all flange standards are interchangeable though. Some of the type of flanges most used in pressure vessels are welding neck flange, but welded to the pipe, best standard flange regarding mechanical resistance, used when security is an issue, slip-on flange, the pipe passes through the flange and it is attached with an external and internal fillet weld. This type is less expensive than the previous and it is not used for high pressures. Socket weld flange, often used only for small pipe sizes, one and a half inches nominal pipe size and smaller. Lab joint flanges, they use a stub end that is bad welded to the pipe. The flange drills do not have to be carefully aligned before welding, which simplifies the installation. Threaded flanges are useful when the weld is to be avoided processes where flammable gases may exist, for example. And finally, we have the blind flange. They are used to cover ends of pipelines, mine holes of pressure vessels and hand holes. These flanges have standardized dimensions. They have been designed to withstand specific design conditions, pressure temperature range. That is why they are not calculated, but selected. Flanges up to 24 inches nominal pipe size must be selected from the ANSI ASME B16.5 standard. When using this flange standard, the first step is to find the adequate chart for the flange material required. Then, the pressure class or rating must be determined from the pressure temperature range corresponding to the flange material. Nozzle necks may adopt different configurations depending on the operating pressure, fluid, temperature, size and client requirements. 
Generally, nozzle necks for storage tanks can be obtained from commercial pipes. This is the preferred option. Use always the pipes available, normally up to 12 to 16 inches nominal pipe size. Or they can be made out of plates when pipes are not available, normally 16 inches and over. As mentioned before, since storage tanks are subjected only to atmospheric pressure plus the static head of the liquid to be stored, nozzles are not calculated, they are selected. In rare occasions, there are cases where a manual calculation is required. In order to perform this verification, the following must be taken into account. The liquid static head, the mechanical resistance, and the nozzle loads. Nozzle neck thicknesses will be obtained from table 5.6 of the standard. This is shown in the picture. The selection process consists of obtaining the thickness from the table for a diameter in particular. As a rule, the only nozzles that require reinforcement are the ones installed on the tank shell, for example, process connections. Nevertheless, and for safety reasons, reinforcements can be also provided for roof nozzles. Same as for nozzle necks, tables are provided within the standard where the dimensions of reinforcements for nozzles of different sizes can be found. However, if different sizes than the ones listed in the code are required, specific calculations according to the criteria of the standard shall be carried out. Reinforcements used in storage tanks can be of two shapes, diamond and circular. Mechanical characteristics for both alternatives are identical. The difference strives on the construction methods. Dimensions for reinforcements are found on table 5.6 of the API 650 standard, as shown in the picture. Nozzles under 2 inches NPS do not require reinforcement. Next, we will review the requirements for nozzles to be installed on storage tanks. Most of the nozzles on a storage tank are found primarily in the tank shell and in the tank roof. As mentioned before, the requirements of nozzles are indicated in the API 650 standard. Special attention shall be paid to the minimum distance between nozzles to be installed on these tank parts. Storage tanks shall be provided with at least one manhole in the tank shell or roof for inspection, cleaning and repair activities in the interior of the tank. For tanks with large diameter, multiple manholes should be provided. Storage tanks must have at least one sludge nozzle for drainage, which may be a flush type, directed to a sump or under the tank. Sumps and bottom nozzles should be designed paying special attention to the filling and compacting of the terrain in order to prevent tank settlements. Flush type nozzles are designed to allow the full drainage of the stored fluid. Therefore, its design and location is such that the lower part of the nozzle becomes part of the shell in order to fit the shell bottom joint. Mainly used as cleaning nozzles, located in the shell bottom joint as mentioned above, but can also be used as process nozzles.